Australian Jason Norris kept his cool to claim the biggest victory yet in his 21-year professional career with a convincing four-shot victory at the tri-sanctioned Fiji International last month. Norris, who was thinking of quitting the game a few years ago and had planned to go to Asian Tour Q School next January, revived his career at the Natadola Bay Championship golf course. Which also happened to be one of the most beautiful courses on the 2017 Asian Tour calendar. I mean, just look at it. The players were really loving the island life and didn't waste a minute off the course. In turn, the locals were loving the golf. This gentleman was making full use of the public catering while watching the action at the eighth hole. But perhaps no one enjoyed the local culture more than runner-up finisher Jazz Jane Watanund. This was him and his mates Johannes Furman and Sam Chin staying hydrated the Fijian way. Bula! The tour then flew across the globe to another gorgeous location in the Swiss mountains for the European Masters. And that's where young talent Matthew Fitzpatrick lifted his fourth professional title after prevailing on the third extra hole in a two-way playoff against Australian Scott Hend. It was yet another missed opportunity for Hend as he was left to rue a playoff heartbreak for the second straight year at the Swiss showpiece. Joining me today in the studio is the man himself, our current Order of Merit champion. Hi Scott, thanks for being with us. Hi Kelly, yeah, thanks for having, having me. That was a tough week. How do you feel after just missing out again on the win? Been doing a bit of soul searching over the last couple of days. It's uh, very disappointing, especially to lose it the second time, two years, two years in a row. And uh, that the putt on um, 18 in the second playoff hole, it's still going through my mind how I actually misread that putt and I thought it was definitely a left to right putt, I thought I put a good stroke on it and it, obviously it was a right to left putt. You know, these are, this is golf unfortunately. On the plus side, you're now in the running for a second merit crown. Yeah, back in the running to uh, possibly challenge for the Order of Merit title again in Asia. Um, It'd be a fantastic feat for me to do. I'd love to do it again. I'll be uh, trying my best, but I've got to skip between Europe and, and Asia, so it's not as easy as I wish it would be, but uh, nothing that you want and that's valuable to you is, is ever easy. Winning the uh, Order of Merit in 2016 has sort of helped me uh, confidence-wise to know that I can play decent golf for a whole year and and uh, still compete as I'm getting older and uh, getting better as I'm getting older. So yeah, it was pretty good to, to win that and obviously Asia's getting stronger. Thanks, Hendy. Congratulations on qualifying for the CIMB Classic next month and good luck in KL. Now, before all the playoff drama in Crans, Montana, people were going gaga over the most decorated Olympian of all time who made his way up the mountains for a good cause. Mr. Michael. Legendary swimmer Michael Phelps and true detective star Michelle Monaghan teamed up at Omega's inaugural Celebrity Masters and beat a host of other sporting and screen stars, each representing their own selected charities. I mean, it's fun. I mean, the weather's a little tough. A little cold to be standing in the rain, but it probably helped those putts go in too. Even the Asian tour stars themselves became fanboys for a day. Now, just last week, Richard T. Lee made a spectacular comeback from injuries into the winner's circle at the Shinhan Donghae Open. Lee's final round of five under par 66 was enough to see him pit Malaysia's Gavin Green and lift his second Asian tour title. Anil Ban Lahiri is well and truly on top of the world right now, having been picked by the international team captain Nick Price for his second President's Cup appearance. That's coming up next week after the Asia Pacific Open Golf Diamond Cup in Japan. So show your support for Anil Ban on the Asian Tour Facebook page with the hashtag where it's at. Goodbye for now.